Question 26. Fiza has 10 coins in a the bag. There are 3 one pound coins and 7 50 pence coins. Fiza takes at random 3 coins from the bag and we're asked to work out the probability that she takes exactly 2 pounds 50. Okay, so a couple of important things to note. We're at question 26. We're near the end of the paper. We've been asked to do a probability problem. Normally, nine times out of ten, if you're asked to do a probability problem near the end of the paper, it's likely to be a tree diagram. You don't have to do it, but it does certainly help. So I'm going to use a tree diagram to help me solve this problem. I want exactly two pounds fifty. I'm going to take three coins. So we need a diagram. I'm not going to do the full diagram, but we'll fill in what we need. So there's a couple of things that can happen. First instance, we can either take a pound or we can take 50p. Then we're going to take another coin and that coin could either be a pound or 50p. Or if we go in the other direction, we could take pound or 50p. And then finally, third go, pound or 50p, pound or 50p, pound or 50p. You can see it's getting a little bit busy, a little bit difficult to see. You will have more space. Let's just get these in. So one pound or 50p, pound, 50p, pound. 50p and finally the last collection of branches okay so this is the basic structure of our tree diagram i'm going to consider and worry about all probabilities all paths across the diagram that are going to lead to uh, me getting exactly two pounds 50. so we can get a pound on the first go pound on the second go and then 50p on the third so this path along the diagram is going to give me my two pounds fifty. Also, I could get a pound, then I could get fifty p, and then a pound again. So this is a, another fair path. We could go that way, then that way, and then that way. And finally, we could start off by getting fifty p, and then follow that up by getting two pounds. So these are the paths across the tree diagram I'm interested in. Next thing I'm going to do is fill in the probabilities. So we got 10 coins in total. Probability of taking a pound on the first go. There's three of them. It's going to be three out of 10. Seven 50p coins, which means the probability seven out of 10. Now we've chosen a coin here. So when we go to step two, we choose a second coin. We're not now choosing from 10. We're choosing out of nine. Now, if I choose a pound coin in the first go, there's only two pound coins left. So the probability will two, be two out of nine. Similarly, the probability of getting a 50p, if I chose a pound on the first go, we still have seven of them in the bag. But there's only nine, co nine, nine coins in total. And then if we go over to this uh, final branch here, um, I want a 50p on the third go after choosing two pounds. Well, we've taken two coins out already, which means that we've only got eight coins left. So it's gonna be out of eight and how many 50 p's are in the bag at this stage i've chosen a pound then a pound which means that we still have all the 50 p's in the bag which means there's seven of them uh, complete this branch here three out of ten seven out of nine we're going for a pound again we've already taken one pound out which means there's two left and we already know that there's eight coins in the bag there if we go this way i've chosen 50 p first which means I still have three pound coins in the bag, but we've only got nine coins in the bag in total. And if I go for a pound again, there's only two pound coins left now, and there's only eight in the bag. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna multiply across the branches. You could work out the whole tree diagram. I'm not going to. So I'm gonna do three out of 10 times two out of nine times seven out of eight. So just write that down, three out of 10 
times 2 over 9 times 7 over 8. Going to use the commutative law and we're going to do 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 7, 42. Um, 9 times 8 is 72, 72 times 10, 7, 20. Let's see what happens when we go this way. We're going to do 3 out of 10 times 7 out of 9 times 2 out of 8. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 7, 42. 10, uh, 9 times 8, 72, 72 times 10, 7, 20. Oh, it's exactly the same. And you probably guessed it, when I work this one out, we're actually going to get 42 out of 720 as well. So they're the probabilities that we're interested in. They all result in me getting £2.50 exactly. So what we're going to do with those probabilities, we're going to add that to that to that, because there are all the different ways it can happen. 42 plus 42 plus 42 is... 126 out of a total of 720 and you can leave your answer like that no need to simplify because it didn't specify in the question and that ladies and gents should get you four marks